In BikeCAD, it is important to specify the rear dropout spacing. With quick release dropouts, the rear dropout spacing is the distance between the inner surfaces of the dropouts. These surfaces are used as a reference for defining the ends of the chain stays and seat stays. The ends of the chain stays are offset by dimension CZ from this surface. The ends of the seat stays are offset by dimension SZ from this surface. With the advent of through axle hubs, we talk about how the overlock nut dimension went from 135 millimeters for mountain bike hubs to 142 millimeters for through axle hubs. And while it is true that the distance between these two surfaces on a set of through axle hubs is 142 millimeters, there is still an inner surface of a through axle dropout that remains 135 millimeters from its counterpart on the other side. For consistency, we would still like to reference this surface when defining the attachment points for the chain stays and seat stays through dimensions CZ and SZ. In BikeCAD version 20.5, we've enhanced the menu for defining the rear dropout spacing to document both the overlock nut dimension, or OLD, and the distance between the two inner surfaces of the dropouts, or DS. The menu still includes track, quick release road, and quick release mountain, where in each case values for DS will be the same as the value for the overlock nut dimension, as well as options for standard through axle, boost, and super boost spacing, where the overlock nut dimension values will be 142, 148, and 157 respectively, but values for DS will always be 7 millimeters less than the overlock nut dimension.